god, do I have like crusties on my face? My sunblock that I wear every day, it's like a fancy moisturizer, but it's almost out and I swear all that's on the bottom of the tube is like leftover crust gunk. It's kind of gross. I need to go and buy more. Yep. Anyways, today, let's talk about what I'm doing today. I feel like crap. I woke up and like my neck and my shoulders are killing me and I think it's gonna lead to a migraine and I low-key want to take like tons of ibuprofen but at the same time I like low-key don't want to get kidney stones so I like low-key don't know what the hell to do so I'm just gonna low-key wing my life as the entire world knows I got a really bad haircut oh, I don't even remember how long ago it was let's check the YouTube it was like six months ago. Oh my god, my phone messages are blowing up. There's like a freaking group text for my work and it's like, damn, it blows up whenever I turn my data. Anyways, so yeah, it was like six months ago. I got a really bad haircut. I hate it. I'm trying to grow it out. I would show you my hair, but instead I'm just going to insert footage of my last video. You can really see like the full like crispy layers sort of look thing. I hate it. A lot of people are like, oh, it looks great. It looks fine whatever i hate it it literally gives me anxiety i pull up my hair a lot i hate it i'm always playing with it i hate it i want something done about it so i'm at this point in my life where i'm like okay i'm gonna go to a hair salon and have the person fix my fucking hair for me they're either gonna like i don't know layer it so it doesn't look like trash or they're gonna cut it to like here i don't know all i know is i don't want my hair to be crispy ends anymore i don't care what you do with your hair but i'm not into the texturized end i have like four pieces of hair so it looks weird on me as i'm sitting here drinking this freaking piss temperature rain complaining about everything I don't even know, dude. It's just like, fuck. Well, I was gonna go to this one salon that was a heck of a lot closer until I was like, oh, how much is the haircut? You know, expecting it to be like 20 30 maybe $40. No, the haircuts there start at 55 Start at 55 I don't know about you, but that's a lot of money for me. I never even heard of haircuts being that damn much. I went onto their website and was like, why the fuck is it so much? Well, they do a bunch of fancy stuff. Like, they touch up on your makeup for you and like, blah. And it's like, as nice as that sounds, I've been too much of a depressed piece of of shit to wear makeup and I can touch up on my own makeup I mean I know it's supposed to be like the experience of being pampered but it's like can't I just pay like not starting at $55 and like just get a haircut <coughs> I just want to get my hair cut so um I'm gonna go back to my OG place JC Penny salon I've knock on some wood my car is all plastic fuck um never had a bad experience there my ex is just blowing me up like bro he's like trying to get me to like sleep with him or whatever and it's like if I'm gonna be friends with benefits somebody it has to be somebody with a big dick like his dick is like this big <laughs> Okay, I need to stop screaming. I am in a residential area. Oh, also, I'm gonna be driving on the highway for the first time, like, ever, alone. So yeah, I'm gonna take my little Zoom Zoom monster onto the interstate. Oh, he's gonna be so excited to finally go Zoom Zoom. So that's kind of exhilarating. I'll let you know how that goes. I mean, obviously, I'll be okay. <laughs> God, what if I die? This is why I need my mom here. Mom, why aren't you here? Wish me luck, bye. Okay, 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 okay. So, so. <laughs> so my first try driving on the freeway here, that was fucking terrifying. So I got the speed. I entered just fine somehow by a miracle of Jesus, the universe, whatever you want to believe in. But then I run into like one of those like giant, I think they call them like wolf pack, the driver's ed. It's just a big group of idiots that are going like really slow and they're taking up both lanes and it's like high key terrifying. I don't want to be near them because that's how pileups happen and the last thing I want to happen to me or my sweet little Henry is a car accident because in all honesty i've already put way too much money into my car to just lose him and i don't think i'd be able to get a new car just because like right now i'm making very little money places don't want to give loans to people that don't make a lot of money because they think they won't pay them back luckily you know me and henry we made it just fine henry likes to go zoom zoom we went zoom zoom together in other news my freaking egg let me let me let me, let me grab my phone because i was using it as a gps he is so funny he's so funny he's so funny <laughs> he was like trying to convince me to be friends with benefits with him and it's like oh no <laughs> she's my lab then he's like trying to use the fact that like i used to do the camming thing he's all like well you like got naked online and like blah 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 why can't you get naked for me it's like because those people would pay me hundreds of dollars and i wouldn't be seeing them in real life and he's like oh i'll give you ten dollars 
Bitch, I make way more than that in one hour working. Damn, that's not even the minimum wage. And he's like, oh, I'll give you $100 a month. Bitch, I have a job. That's not even a car payment for me. That would maybe cover my gas to get there every day. Who do you think I am? I'm like medium key offended. But then he's like, okay, well then like, leave me alone. And even though he's literally the one that's always been messaging me. And now he's like, okay, well, bye. And then as I was driving here, you know, panicking, I park and he's like, send me a picture of you. I don't know if he's like still in love with me. The parking garage here, like medium key scares me. Or like, I don't know, boys, they like want to be complicated, but they're not. It's like, I kind of like get the vibe that he like wants to be with me, but I'm looking for somebody forever, not just somebody to like be with to be with somebody and I want somebody that like I can do stuff with and grow with and like see the world with not just somebody I fuck and hang out with every once in a while it just doesn't appeal to me I have my dildos and I have my friends so like yeah but um she's my little bang antennas they remind me of an anime girl do I look anime now oh, so anime and I got a scrunchie I'm a bisco anime <laughs> I'm like super early for my haircut but I'm gonna head in anyways because I always get lost there was a guy that works in a parking garage he saw me vlogging to myself and he like gave me this look like as if he knew what I was doing and that's just like yep I talked to myself on the internet now I'm just I kind of wish I parked a little more straight so then my camera wouldn't be so tilty or like I don't know just buy a freaking camera stand should not have my camera right here oh my god I am back from getting my hair cut. How do I look? I feel like kind of like a cool suburban mom that's on their way to like fuck your dad. But my favorite part about it is the fact that I have no more freaking crispy ass nasty hair that like literally gave me anxiety and I spent like literally way too much time every day pulling at it. It was just weird. Like, hello, bet take this scarf off. Let's get naked. Let's not get demonetized but to lighten the mood i have a wholesome haul dude i went to target and i like medium key hate target because i'm always so tempted to buy stuff there oh god it feels weird i can feel the air on my neck i'm not used to this feel but at target all i bought was this and it literally tastes like shit oh god and i bought scissors in case if i like feel that i have like a crisp or like a split end or something i can just trim it myself rather than like freak the fuck out and panic over it like I did before. And then I went to Claire's. I bought this necklace. It is a blue lace, a, a gate. It's supposed to give you courage. Maybe I'll finally be brave enough to like, I don't know, go over to that one guy's house that like, I can't even say I like him anymore because I get over guys really fast, but I'm still like medium key mad that he like kissed me and then like said he wanted to go out with me again and then like never went out with me again. Like, okay, bro. It was just weird. Cause he was like, I want nothing from you. But then like, <sighs> I thought things went well. It just makes no sense because hey, we hung out and then the next day we went out to eat together and he, it's like, why would you like buy me food and shit if you like don't want to see me again? Like, you make no sense. And I can't egg his house. He has a roommate. I can't do that to his roommate. It's not his roommate's fault that he's a chad. But I can start his car on fire. Do I have the courage to do that right now? But he's not worth getting locked up for. But I also bought these scrunchies. Cuss, 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 cuss. And I... Oop. And I bought barrettes because um, my bangs are annoying the shit out of me and I need to pin them back. I got ones with rainbows on them. What is my thing focusing on? Dude, focus on my face, you twat. Hi, my bangs are annoying me. Ska, ska, ska. Dang, I love not having super crispy hair. Like, it's fucking weird having short hair after my hair was like down to here, but I love this. I feel so liberated. Ska, 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 and I oop. I also need to like get plugs or like those low miracle things for my ears because my hoops literally feel like they're like ripping my freaking previously stretched ear hole. But maybe I should stretch my ears again. The only reason I like started closing them was like two years ago my ex was like, you should close them. It'll make you look more pretty girl. And for whatever reason, like literally, who the fuck? was like me two years ago now i'm just like i'm a crackhead but when i was like younger i actually cared about what guys think who am i this fucking bit but yeah we're gonna go to tj's now because i'm like 10 feet away from one and i don't know if there's like any like close by like where i live normally and i really don't like going on the freeway or anything so like let's take advantage of the fact that i went 
over the freeway and stuff. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. I also forgot to mention something hilarious that I thought of. That one ex that's like begging me to send him nudes like, bitch. Why is my face all blurry? But he's all like super weird about my hair. He was like, don't ever cut off your hair again. I like low key wish that I kept my hair just so I can mail it to him and be like, well, since you love my hair so much, here it is. <laughs> I don't know, I just hate when guys tell me what to do. Bitch, let me be my own bitch, okay? So I just wanted to make a memo before I go into Trader Joe's that I drove 800 feet in my freaking platform cock crushing shoes, if you can see them even, I don't even know. But um, they're really freaking hard to drive in. Maybe it's because I'm still kind of a new driver or because I just suck at life. But yeah, they're really hard to drive in. But note to self, always change into my sludgy covered vans. Bing bong yeehaw, we're at the Trader Joe's. We're gonna trade some stuff because that's what we do here at Trader Joe's. Uh, bing bong bing. I don't even know what I'm doing now. Okay, bye. What is even it looking at? So I went to TJ's and it was kind of really overwhelming. I don't know if people can work there. I can't take busyness. I'm a pussy though. Pussy ass bitch. When I walked into Trader Joe's, there was a guy who was looking at me and he just dropped everything. It's just like, geez, I know I'm hot, but like, am I drops everything hot? Guess so. <laughs> On my way to steal your dad. I'm like screaming that and there's like somebody in their car. Oh, it's a Kia. They must hate themselves. Ugh. But my wholesome haul includes coffee. So now we can stop torturing ourselves and drinking. Flip, I've been just been reusing the same coffee grounds for like the last two days. Yeah, I, I need to learn how to love myself. And a lot bar, which I already ate and I dropped the wrap on the ground. I'm gonna go and uh, I don't know, probably just edit videos. Like literally people always like, what do you do in your free time? Okay, literally if I'm not hanging out with somebody, I'm either reading or editing videos or like looking up something random on the internet. Not that exciting of a person. Really don't like going out to boot by myself just because I get hit on a lot. But yeah, um, so while I was driving, I noticed that there's a little chunk of my hair that's uneven. That makes me sound like I'm some dangerous, reckless driver. I was at a stoplight. Thank goodness I bought these. You know, originally I was either going to like cut my hair short in my car or in my best friend's bathroom but i was like you know what imagine this friend goes onto youtube and just like sees me chopping off all my hair in their bathroom they'd probably be like yeah you can't come over again or even in a public restaurant how awkward it would be if somebody walked in on me while i was just chopping off my hair they'd probably call security on me and i'd get arrested i'm too pure for jail so like yeah i'm just gonna cut the snippy snip Oh my god. Ugh, my titties are all hairy now. Okay, I think I'm on Gucci gang now. I need to like stop before I just... It's so weird seeing like my hair. Who would like a lock of my hair? Five dollars! Gotta feed myself somehow. Isn't that weird? This is what's in my head. Look at that. Also, my ex has called me like officially 13 times in a row. Somebody's obsessed with me. Praise Jesus. But yeah, I'm gonna go uh, pee and then paint my nails and just live my life. Maybe dye my hair, I don't know.